Hey, what's going on, folks? Mr. Mom, thanks for coming out, spending a couple minutes with me, guys. Just a couple things I wanted to talk about here real quick and kind of the downfalls of, of not getting to aquascape with everything that you want to. Um, first off, the narrow leaf chainsaws or pygmy chainsaws, looking awesome, guys. Love this. Quickly becoming one of my, my new favorite plants. It's melting out a little bit on this side. I just put these in. But when I first put them in, they kind of look like this with the long, skinny stem and kind of the the arrow teardrop shaped uh, lobe there on the top. Um, but then you start getting this more grassy like growth once it starts coming in submerged and it's wicked looking. Look at the runners even already, which I definitely agree with the runners. Agree with the Stodger and Reppin's growth here, down here. Agree with all this growth. It's doing really, really well. Uh, can't ask for more than that. So that's all doing good. But one thing that I did put in here, and this is not where I wanted to put this plant. I just stuck it in here to see how it would do in this tank before I really tried to scape with it. This is Rotala Walichi, and it's a great plant. And as you can see, you know, the tips, they look really, really nice. Look at that. You know, that's the way it should look. You know, we all know the way Rotala Walichi should look. Um, and that's the way it all looked basically when I put it in here. But as you can see, look at that stem for one, it's just desiccated. Sorry about the water quality, guys. I just did a water change. Um, you can see the desiccated stems. And these are the culprits right here, guys, are these Siamensis algae eaters. And you can see them working on the sawtooth high grow right here. I got two of them. Um, and they do great on eating, you know, hair algae off of plants and stuff. And I agree with having them in the tank, you know, if you have bigger tanks and you can support the size of, of what they get, I definitely agree with having them. And I've never had a problem with them eating plants before. They're not eating, you know, the, uh, the sawtooth hygro here, the mermaid, whatever you want to call it, but he's cleaning it up. Um, and I think they do the same to this, and I don't think they mean to eat it. I just think because it's so delicate, you know how delicate Rotala Walichi is, um, it's pretty easy for these these fronds on these leaves to come off. So needless to say, I wanted to run Rotala Walichi, and it's not looking like I'm going to be able to do that. So going to have to think of something else, maybe some Amania gracilis or something. I didn't want to keep it there anyway. I just wanted to see how it was going to do in the tank. Um, it's growing good, but uh, yeah. <laughs> not looking real good so I'm gonna try something different there thank God the sawtooth looks good and I'm gonna you know I'm still you know brainstorming this side um, lots of good sawtooth high grow in the store guys for sale I know a lot of people have been looking for it I was out of it last week um, I got it in here co2 blowing all over it um, you know look at this piece is already kind of changing a little bit it does take time for it to change but it will so, uh, you know, given time, and it's a leaf dropper, so you can kind of expect that, you know, when you get it new. But uh, this stuff is looking strong. So if you're looking for some hot, you know, some sawtooth, come and get it. And I got some Walichi here, and as you can see, this stuff's not desiccated at all. Unfortunately, this stuff is sold, guys. You're going to have to wait till next week to get more of that. So um, that's it on the planet, guys. You know, you can't always... Um, you know, sometimes everything that you want to run in your tank, you can't always do that for, you know, whatever reason. So um, in this particular case, it's because my algae eaters are just destroying it. Um, one quick thing I wanted to show you guys. Wanted to give everyone a quick shot of the old reef tank here because I don't really show this very often. And I got a new light for it. I got the, uh, got me a Kessel 360, A360. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Top of the line lighting, 29 gallon, a little bit of an overkill, but you know, I want top of the line stuff on there. So uh, needless to say, I, I do agree with the way the reef tank's coming along. Don't have a lot of corals in here yet because I'm planning on adding a lot of live rock and just kind of rebuilding the reef. So get more into the reef stuff, you know, show you guys what's going on there and uh, yeah, see how that goes. So that's it guys, quick shot of the reef, quick shot of the new light, the Kessel. Real giddy about that. And uh, yeah, not giddy about the Rotala Walichi, but we're going to get that fixed. So, J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks, let me know if you have any questions, guys. The store's full, by the way. If you didn't know we sold plants, we do that at Fired Up Aquatics. Peace.